Hi witches, so today's video is gonna be a little bit short and sweet. I am not gonna lie to you, I am feeling super, super duper burned out. Like, there's just a lot going on right now. So I'm like super tired and I apologize if my content is lacking. I am determined to film every single day though and post videos for you guys. So, um. Anyways, today I wanted to piggyback a little bit off of yesterday's video and just talk about some like personal hearth magic that I do around my house. Um, I kind of feel at this point, like I almost feel like I'm repeating myself a little bit, but if you are new to my channel, hello, welcome. I have tons of links. I have a Patreon if you are interested in learning more things about witchcraft beyond my little videos. I also do tarot, tarot reading, monthly tarot reading. Whoa, there's like a little beam of light. That's kind of interesting. Um, weird. <laughs> um, that didn't help. Oh well, it's just gonna be in the video. Sorry guys. Um, but, oh I wonder, is that a heck of a <gasps> Is it? No, it's not. It's just the window. It's fine. Never mind. I thought that was really witchy. It's not. It's science. Um, yeah, obviously really disjointed and not good at talking in a straight line. Sorry guys. Um, anyways, I do have a Patreon. I do tarot readings and crystal curation and spell jars and moon manifestation work. Um, I also post three extra times a week and I am always super accessible on Patreon so if you are interested and if you are new because I've gotten so many new subscribers over the last month like 150 plus um which thank you so much but um I do have a Patreon so if you want more of me hello there we go so I know I don't really fit like the description of the like typical like 1950s domestic like homemaker type I don't really want kids but I do a lot of magic within the home because I think it's really important to have like a sacred space. I think that having a safe space within the home is like a foundational thing for a lot of witches, which is why, which is why, um, a lot of people don't actually like talk about their practice until they are like moved out of like their parents' house, like in my case, or maybe are living with a partner who does understand. So that's like totally valid and totally cool. Um, but there are some things you can still do to create a sacred space like even if you're like in a college dorm or uh, maybe living with roommates who are just kind of like what um so some of the i just wanted to kind of go through some of the things that i do um in order to kind of protect my home and do hearth magic within my space i'm really lucky in that i do live in my own apartment and i have been living here for almost three years um so i've had a lot of like freedom um now again we rent so like I can't like paint the walls or anything, but something that would be cool is to like paint sigils into the paint, like to protect and fortify the walls of your house. I think that is really awesome. So like you would do like a layer and then of paint and then do your like symbols and runes and then paint over that again. So it would all be in the same color and it would all like kind of match up, but you would know it was there and it would still be there. So you could do sigils, you could do runes, whatever you want to do. That is something that I do plan on doing um, in my house when I do move into an actual house. So stay tuned for that. I'm sure I will film the entire process. Um, another thing you guys can do, I think I've talked about this before. Sorry, my boots are squeaky. <laughs> so another thing that you could do, and I think I talked about this in another video, but it's using moon water to seal your windows and mirrors. Um, so by using moon water and once again, tracing out runes and protective symbols on your, um, your windows, that's another great way to um, to protect your home, make sure like no negative energy or less negative energy, because I think there's always like a little semblance of like negativity or stagnancy, at least in everyone's home. Like it's kind of just one of those things, like where there's light, there is dark, where there's dark, there's light, of course. Um, so you can kind of mitigate that by running up wards, especially moon water wards, which are invisible to the human eye, but they're magically. So I think that's really awesome. And a way that people who are perhaps um, not like out about their practice can actually practice like protective magic. And I think that is very fundamental to most people's crafts. Um, another thing that I do, I keep a lot of bells around my house. Um, and that is to like ward away negative spirits or negative energy. So the idea of that being um, whenever a bell is rung, like the energy is stirred up um, and kind of cleansed via sound cleansing. I do have a video on that if you have not seen it. Um, I do have like other like actual like physical house wards. Um, and if you do have a house with like a plot of land, what one of the things that I used to do, um, and this is something my parents don't know about, which is hilarious. Hello, mom. Um, <laughs> um, when I was a teenager, we of course lived in like a single family home in suburbia, like, you know, I, I was very privileged growing up, not gonna lie. Um, like obviously, can't you tell? <laughs> uh, <laughs> but 
Uh, one thing that I did, <laughs> I don't think my parents know about, um, I took like three iron nails, like they were small. I recommend doing this with like big, like railroad tie type things. Um, I took three iron nails and like made four bundles with like iron nails and um, like metal, like wire, like, like jewelry wire, right? Like wrapping wire. And I wrapped them all up. Um, so I had four sets of them and I placed one on each corner of our like property <laughs> to create a protective barrier for me and my family. So that was something that I was doing even like, like when I first started practicing, I think I read it in a book and it was like, you must do this. So I was like, oh shit, I gotta do it. Now you don't have to, obviously, obviously I live in an apartment and I feel like if like my neighbors were like, saw me like hammering nails into like the concrete outside, like they would be like, what? And I would probably have the police called on me. So like, don't do that. Um, so I don't have that specific like type of like protective spell going right now, but I do have wards in all of my rooms. Now, I'm not going to reveal those because I am always scared someone's going to curse me. Like, I just don't really want to deal with it. It's not so much scared. It's more that I'm just like tired and don't want to deal with it. That's truly like actually what it is. Um, but I do have protective wards all over my house. Um, something that you could do discreetly is maybe leave a crystal above a like door frame or a um, like a sigil on a folded up piece of paper, you could do that and put it above your door frames because like no one really looks up there. So especially if it's a piece of paper, it'll be flat. Um, and then no one's really gonna see it. So if you are kind of like trying to keep things on the DL, I really recommend that. Um, other things, um, another thing that I don't really do this so much, but I do see a lot of other witches doing it um, are floor washes. And this is something that comes from like American hoodoo. So I don't really like practice any of that. It's just not for me. So yeah, it's basically what it sounds like. It's a floor wash, it's um, like water and uh, usually moon water actually, um, and different herbs. And sometimes I feel like people like add soap to like physically clean things, but don't quote me on that because again, I don't really do this in my practice so much. I just do wanna mention it in case anyone wants to research it further, which I super recommend and super encourage you to do as always. Yeah, the idea behind a floor wash is to wash the floors of your house and like, it's similar to like using a besom to cleanse, but it cleanses out and like wipes away all that negative energy. And then at the end, you'll like dump out the water like away from your property. So I hope that makes sense. It's like a pretty simple concept, but it's just not part of my practice. I don't do it a whole lot uh, or not or at all actually, uh, but I do see a lot of other hearth witches who do and I think it's really cool. So just wanted to mention it. Um, and the final thing I wanted to talk about today, and this is something again, like maybe for like um, kitchen witchery, this is kind of where kitchen witchery and um, like green witchery kind of overlap. I really love simmer pots. Like I, I knew it was a thing, um, but I did my first one like a couple weeks ago. I, a couple months ago actually shit um uh, time flies um but basically like you can use herbs that have specific correspondences to create kind of a scented steam that will like waft throughout your house you could even carry like the pot of like steaming water throughout all like all of the rooms in your house which is what i did one day to cleanse and it was awesome um and this is a great smoke-free cleansing method if you do choose to use cleansing herbs um or it's just a great method for like stirring up the energy in your house and adding a specific um like vibe which i am all about um so i i just really recommend looking into simmer pots the one i made and this is one that i like did i did it again on maybun actually um which i should have filmed but i didn't it was kind of just like beautiful like for me so sorry guys i actually like just thinking about it i like did put the recipe up i believe on patreon like i'm like 99 percent sure I'm just really scattered brain right now um like but I'm like almost a hundred percent sure that I put it on like up on Maybon um so the what I included in it was cinnamon cloves allspice um moon water of course because the full moon was just like two days prior so I had some moon water um then I had um apple slices like kind of sliced in circles and then orange slices sliced in circles that I like had put in there and I mixed it up and I let it simmer and bubble and it was like very witchy it looked like a cauldron because like of course um and it was just really nice and it made my house smell really good so um that was just like a nice fun way to celebrate the holiday and also like do some hearth magic some kitchen magic um and yeah, so it's just like a good soup. <laughs> um, I, that is a very antiquated TikTok reference, I think at this point, I'm sorry, I'm 24 now, so I'm officially old. Um, anyways, I will let you guys go. I hope you have a fabulous Friday. I talked for way longer than I thought I would. Um, and this was like really therapeutic. So like, thank you for letting me talk and thank you for listening. I really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys later, bye.